Heat-related illness can span a spectrum of different kind of diseases as far as you start on the far end of the spectrum where it's kind of annoying called heat cramps where your muscles just kind of cramp for being out in the heat too long. Then in the middle you have something called heat exhaustion where you start to feel worse, maybe have some nausea, some vomiting, just feel kind of weak all over. And then as we move towards the very dangerous life-threatening end of the spectrum called um, heat stroke. So there's a couple different kinds of heat stroke as far as we see in the emergency department. Um, the one that everyone's heard of is kind of the classic, uh, the, the athlete training for football in the summer gets overheated, um, collapses. We usually think of kids as being kind of um, less susceptible to disease, but this is one of the diseases that they're highly susceptible to. And it has to do with different reasons. Um, one of the main reasons is they have a high uh, body surface area to mass ratio, and that way they can't release heat the way adults do. One of the other things that we see in kids is uh, they don't want to come inside from the heat, they want to continue to play, and when they do that, they can get dehydrated and can turn into kind of a vicious cycle that can rapidly lead to heat stroke. Uh, there's also a version of heat stroke that uh, happens in the elderly, um, who folks who are exposed to kind of mild heat and they can't take care of themselves for numerous reasons, they can uh, quickly turn into a heat stroke. So the main thing that you're going to see with heat stroke that differentiates it from all the other uh, variations of heat illness is altered mental status, seizures, confusion. Uh, patients will often start uh, hallucinating, start kind of um, saying things that aren't appropriate. And that's really the key to differentiating heat stroke from heat exhaustion. And heat stroke is the deadly process that needs emergent medical care. So you want to just always be observant for you know anyone you're around in the heat. Are they starting to become short of breath or tired? Um, do they feel like they're going to pass out? Are they having vomiting? You know, if they look bad, take them inside and get them in the cool air. Um, if you're at a job site, get them in your car, turn on the air conditioner. Um, you know, start start hydrating them appropriately with water or even some of the sports drinks are good hydration techniques. I always tell patients if you're worried, then call for help and we'll figure it out together.